Hey guys, welcome to this week's video tutorial. This week it's on motion tracking. Let's get started. Okay, so you might be asking, what is motion tracking? Motion tracking is the ability to add objects realistically into videos. Now, how would I do this? Well, what I'm going to show you today is how to do it with a TV. Now, you can use other things too, like you could motion track a monster into a scene. Maybe you shot it with your actors first, and you can motion track in this monster. You can do pretty much anything, but I think the easiest one is when the corners are pretty much set. So, let me show you a quick example. Okay, for example, this keyboard has a screen. If I wanted to motion track, I would set up four points along the corners, and I'd put my object in the center. And because it's keyframed it, I don't have to worry about if it moves it won't move, the image will move with it. Pretty cool, huh? So now let's take you into the computer and show you how this is done. One other thing, it might help to take the little pieces of tape and put them in the corner, something other than the color of the image you're playing on motion tracking. Just a little hint, because you won't see those markers once you motion track it. Might be helpful. Now we're going into the game showing you how this is done. Right after this. You're watching the Chroma JT Show with your host, JT. We'll be right back. Okay, so let's go and learn how to do track motion. So the first thing you want to do is you want to bring in your two clips. You're going to want a clip of your television or whatever you're going to motion track. For this example, I'm using my television because it's got four points and that's going to be the easiest thing to motion track. And then I've got a clip of my um digital juice video so what I'm gonna do is on that clip I'm gonna click track motion and that icon right there I'm gonna go and click that and then this is gonna pop up now this might be a little hard to see we don't need that side thing right now we're going to go ahead and adjust our size so that our image now one thing before you start messing with this that I want you to do is make sure right here there are two buttons these are locks you gotta turn those off or no eh, sorry keep that second one on. So that's going to let you just adjust how big or wide something is. Just doing my best to make sure that I fill in the entire television set. We don't want to make it. That's pretty good. Obviously you'll spend more time on that than I do. So then when you play it, it looks like it's playing on the TV. 
and you can see my camera started to move. Obviously, if you really took time on that, you would keyframe it so it would stay in one spot. Now, all my videos are going to be like this from now on, where there will be an intro, where I tell you about the effect, we'll then have a commercial break, and we'll come in. Please submit commercials. I am working on a few commercials for this channel, besides that one a commercial. But so that's it, and have a great day.